right, everybody, this is your hip dips round butt workout in 14 days. Yes, you're gonna do this workout for every single day for 14 days, and you're gonna start to see amazing results. Now, I've heard so many of you saying, I just do one of Rebecca's workouts, I just pick three, and I do three every single day. Guys, I can help you. This is exactly why we've created the calendar and the challenges every single month. It is so important that you do the right workouts in the right order to maximize your results. So if you're like, hey, I want a workout schedule just planned perfectly for me, add in your email right below and I'm gonna send you everything for our current monthly challenge. It's amazing, you're gonna get recipes, mindset work, and of course, all of your workouts too. So if you're ready to get started with today's workout, let's crush this round booty workout. All righty, cool, we got a stacked workout today. So we have got 40 seconds of exercise, a 15 second rest, and we are gonna crush it, okay? So first exercise, we're gonna come down, and we're gonna squeeze those glutes underneath. That's it, we're gonna push that hip out to the side. Remember, we're going for that round butt, and then lifting up to the sky. So push down, and then squeeze. If you want to add weights on, you can. If you wanna add your bands on, if you wanna add on some ankle weights, you can, right? I'm gonna do this, most of these workouts, most of these exercises without weights, but I'm gonna show you how you can add in the weight as well. So right now, if you you want to add in a weight, great squat. You're going to hold one right here. You're going to put it on your hips and then feel it. So get down a little bit lower. Squeeze that glute for me. Push down with that knee and then lifting up out to the side. I'm going to work a little bit of inner thighs on this exercise too, but really think about pushing that booty out to the side and then shooting up to the sky. That's it. Here we go. Looking good, everybody. Push down and extend. Here we go. Three, two, one and release. Okay, we're gonna take it over to our other side. Remember, if you have not got your BTS bands yet, these are incredible. They're gonna really make sure that you're activating those glutes and you're feeling it just a little bit extra. Who wants some extra burn? Raise your hand. All right, we're gonna take it out to the side and then we're gonna squeeze up on the other side. So really think about pushing down through the ground, booty is out to the side, chest is lifted, push down and tuck in those hips underneath. Here we go. So strong, everybody. Push down into the ground and squeeze. Lifting up through your chest. Here we go, come on. We've got this. We're gonna keep on adding on new exercises and we're gonna add on the first one straight away. Oh yes, we are. So pushing that booty out and then squeezing those glutes as you get to the top. That's it, push that leg out, that knee is out too, and down into the ground, lifting up through your chest. Here we go, breathe, inhale and exhale. We're gonna get fired up. We're gonna talk about fitness today. We're gonna talk about nutrition. We're gonna get mindset, it's straight. Here we go, three, two, one and release. Okay, next exercise, you're gonna grab this weight. We're gonna take it down, we're gonna scoop out to the side, and then we're gonna bring back on that kind of tight walk and then take it out to the side on the other side. Here we go, so walking through, tucking those hips underneath as you get to the top, and tap and step. Here we go, turning it all the way as you get to the end of your mat. So you wanna think about maybe just a foot in front of you, sinking those hips out to the side, and then scooping those hips up to the top. I know we've been talking about scooping a lot recently. It's kind of like a scoop of protein and a scoop of those hips. I need a t-shirt of that. All right, here we go. Take it down and then tucking those hips underneath. Keep working hard. Come on, let's take it all the way back. Really sink down. Can you sink down a little bit lower? Get a little bit more range of motion. Take it down and then scoop underneath. That's it. Starting to feel those side glutes on fire. Here we go. Come on, breathe through it. Push down into the ground. Really get that scoop. Give me one more. Release, okay, we're gonna come back to the center. That very first exercise that we were doing, we take it down and then we tap all the way up. This time, if you haven't got your weight in your hand, grab your weight. Okay, here we go. Let's try putting the weight right here this time. So you're gonna come down and you're gonna lift up right here. So booty is down, lifting up through the chest. Here we go, tap and extend. Lifting up and squeeze. That's it. So yes, we're working the inner thighs a little bit, but the main goal right here is working on that side butt, right? Getting that nice round booty, working on those hip dips. So pushing those hips out to the side. And then when you press down onto this leg, you're gonna scoop underneath with this hip as well. All right, so here we go. Take it down, we're gonna do two scoops of this and two scoops of that. If you're on my nutrition plan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Two scoops and two scoops. All right, here we go. Down and extend. Let's try and get a couple of faster reps in as we close this one out. Here we go, tucking it under, pushing those hips out to the side. Three, two, one, and release. All right, over to the other side. The same thing, take a quick sip of water if you need it. We're gonna come down to the side and then we're gonna shoot that leg up. And when you come down, you wanna transfer that weight onto that supporting leg so you can scoop those hips on me and fill it in that glute. Here we go, three, two, one. All right, down and scoop, that's it. So just putting that weight right here and then lifting up through the chest. That's it, scoop underneath. So transfer that weight over and then tuck those hips under. 
get that full range. So tuck it under, hips out to the side, nice big push, and up we go. All right, we're gonna add on our next exercise after we've done those lunge walks again, maybe this time adding on two weights. And that's the great thing about these stacked exercises is you kind of know what's coming and you can make each round more challenging. Or you can start off with the most challenging one and then just kind of temper off. All right, it's up to you. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, grabbing that weight, we're gonna take it into those little twist lunges. So bring those feet together, step forward on your tight rope, and then you twist towards the leg that's in front. So take a look right now, are you twisting the right way? And you kind of sink down and think about sticking that booty to the back. So it's like, you're kind of like sitting on a loo, right? But you're pushing those hips out to the side and tucking underneath, that's it. So squeeze and tuck under, here we go. Let's get this a little bit faster this time. Second round, take it down and all the way under. That's it, straight out in front. And this way we're really working the glute muscles rather than the quads. That's it, next leg and all the way under, scoop it up. Here we go, we're looking good. On time, halfway there, and up we go. And down, scooping all the way up. Whew, you got this, come on. Sink down just a little bit more, really use that full range of motion. How low can you go? Last couple, down to the ground. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're gonna come down to the ground this time. You guys are doing amazing. Let's keep this up, let's keep up the energy. I want you to put in the chat, where are you from in the world? Where are you representing? All right, well if you're on my BTES app, oh, we got some more fun features coming for this. All right, here we go, we're gonna take it across. So you're gonna start off with your right leg, first of all, and you're just gonna take this crossover extension. If you have ankle weight, you can use these as well. All right, if you have bands, you can even use your bands as well because you can use it going up and over, that's it. Push down into the hands, lean forward just a little bit more, and feel those glutes working. Pull that belly button in, lifting up through the chest, and here we go. We're looking good, everybody. We're starting to feel the side booty is on fire. Those hip dips are disappearing, one little rep at a time. It's gonna take, you know, time. And everybody's bodies, by the way, are so different, okay? So you can work on those hip dips, but it really is different on each person's body. All right, we're gonna take it in over the other side. So shake out that booty, shake out that tail. And that's what's all in the, in the guide as well. This month's guide, okay, if you're doing these workouts in April with us, we talk about the different body positions and different body styles and just how some people, it's just easier to get a flat stomach and a round booty. So never compare yourself. All right, let's take it over, little tap from side to side. Yep, all you have to do to get the guide, right, is open up your BTS app. It's gonna be right there when you open up all of your workouts. And if you're not on the BTS app, there is also one that will be hidden in your email as long as you've got your email address in. All right, here we go. It's gonna be very different to the BTS one though. Okay, here's we gotta get all my BTS members. They have VIP stuff. All right, here we go. Taking it across and lifting it all the way up. Yes, you're gonna feel it in those inner thighs as well. So try and keep those hips both facing forward. Push down into the ground, lifting up through your chest, having some fun. Here we go for three, two, one and last one release all the way down come all the way up to standing grab a slightly heavier weight if you can if you are ready for it and we're going to take it to the other side okay so back into those little dips right here so a little tap up this time we're just going to come right here we're going to do a very small up and down that's it so pushing booty back and up booty back and up that's it just, every time we're going to do a slight little variation all right not too much of a change but this time we're just going to push down into the ground and send that booty back here we go lifting up through the chest doing a couple of extra reps right here we got this all right here we go booty's back chest is lifted and you're pushing down think about that foot and squeeze you're still squeezing those glutes as you get to the top all right but there's just tiny little pulses right here that's it come in lifting up and here we go come on keep working nice and hard here we go we've got this every single rep is counting towards us getting those results we just have to keep on showing up for three two one and release okay taking over to the other side shake it out shake it out shake it out we got this so again this time you're just going to come down here so we're not going to transfer the weight all the way back over okay quick sip of water are we ready come on stay with me don't be going anywhere all right this is where you're gonna to start to get those results and the body is gonna to start to change. So pushing that hip out to the side, a little tap. Now lean forward just a little bit more to really get that weight into that hip. That's it, really send the weight over to the hip, right here, lifting up through your chest, pulling that core in nice and tight and little pulses. We've got this, come on up and down. Woohoo! Every single rep is counting towards that booty getting rounder. How many are you gonna to do today? Yes, just think about how many reps that we are counting up right now. That's it, squeeze, lifting up through your chest, 
and we've got this. That's it, squeezing the glutes, pushing down into feet. Last two, and release. All right, we're gonna come into those little squat walks. If you want to, you're gonna grab hold of two weights this time, and we're gonna come here, and we're gonna sink down, and we're gonna scoot all the way up. So grab heavier weights, come all the way down, and tuck those hips underneath. That's it, take it down, and squeeze across your body. Down we go, and tucking those hips underneath all the way to the end. Here we go. That's like you're on a tightrope. Tucking those hips underneath, little leg in front, and taking them across the body, and then squeezing all the way up through. Here we go. Woohoo! Well done, everybody. We're doing it. Those round booties are feeling, I can feel it already. Do you guys feel it too? All right, come on. A couple more reps right here. We're gonna take it back down to the ground. We're gonna add on a couple more exercises. Scoot those hips under, take it down, and then up. That's it, so just twist. What do you think about that booty going out? to the side, you have to kind of remember each time. Booty out to the side, give me one more on either side. And take it down, all right. Coming all the way down to the ground again, we're gonna take it into those crossover extensions. So bring your hands flat onto the ground, pulling that core in nice and tight. And taking a nice big breath in, and breath out, and here we go. Tap it across from side to side, that's it. Now lean forward just a little bit more. Now keep doing that, I'm gonna show you how it feels like with one of our bands as well if you want to add the bands in so keep tapping those legs over from side to side that's it so if you've got these bands on right here all you're going to do is really just adjust it right here and you tap from side to side you're going to feel it even more now i've got the lightest band on right here so i suggest using a light band it's going to be really challenging and difficult but you're going to feel it even more so if you don't feel this right now i highly suggest that you grab a band and you do it just like me here we go for three and two Give me one more, and here. Can you feel the difference? Yes, you can. It is completely different. That's what I'm saying. You've been saying these workouts are too easy or they're too hard. There's always variations. All right. Maybe if you want to also flex the foot, that's going to help you hold that band on your toe, or maybe it'll actually be easier for you, to, just depending on how your body is. Here we go. So tap it across. That's it. Whew. And then you've got to work that bottom leg as well to hold on that band. That's it. Now pull that core in nice and tight, lifting up, and then try and really just push that foot either side of your mat. If that's your goal, that's gonna work. Here we go. That's it, push down into the ground, lifting up through the chest, and breathing, inhale and exhale. Come on, 20 seconds right here. All right, we're gonna add on one more exercise for this round, and then we're gonna take it into round number two. Oh yes, here we go, you've got 10 seconds right here. Come on, keep using that band, feel it working for the last five, three, four, and three, two, one and release, okay? Take off that band if you were using it, great job. You're gonna grab hold of one or two of your weights. We're gonna take it into a single leg bridge. All right, so grab both weights, no weights or one weight, and you're gonna grab that right leg and you're gonna take it across and you're taking it into single leg bridges right here. So I'm gonna hold my weight on the edge right here. I'm gonna hold them together in my hip creases. You're gonna take it down and you're gonna extend all the way up. That's it, so we're just gonna do 40 seconds on each side, really pushing those hips up to the sky, tucking those hips underneath, and then feeling, oh, amazing, every single time that you do a rep. Here we go, all the way up to the sky, and then push down, squeezing those hips underneath, and saying to yourself, oh my goodness, I'm gonna get through this workout. I'm gonna keep on doing this workout for 14 days, and I'm gonna see amazing results, yeah? You wanna do that, but you also need a plan, all right? Because if we work the same body part all the time, or the same exercises, and we just do like a 10 minute abs, a 10 minute booty, a 10 minute arms, right? Same thing, we're not gonna get those results. These workouts are perfectly designed to give you the best results when you do the full version of each of them. Lift up, and then release. And as I'm saying that, I can start to really feel it in that glute. Who else is just like, yep, I'm glad that she's talking, because I can feel it. All right, we're gonna push those hips up to the sky, take it all the way down, and then squeeze up to the top. Are you ready? Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out for three two one and here we go lifting up and take it down that's it really squeezing those glutes underneath pushing down into that supporting heel here we go come on every single time you show up to these workouts you're showing up not just for you you're showing up for this whole community of people just crashing it and rocking it and wanting to get amazing results so push down into the ground lifting all the way up through the chest here we go that's it sending that light and energy every single time come on create those moves inside of you hit those hips up just a little bit higher and then tucking them underneath pushing down into that supporting heel come on we got this last couple of reps so right here breathe for three up two and one and release oh my goodness gently roll yourself up pop your weights over to the side and you guys did 
an amazing job. If you're just like, hey, I was just getting started, that went so fast, make sure that you check out the BTES app with Rebecca Louise. It's got full 28 minute workouts on it. You guys did such a great job today. I'm proud of you. Check out some of the other videos that we have. If you're like, hey, I just wanna keep on going right now. No problem. And we will see you on our next workout. Bye guys.